Dennis Leary made a good point a, a long while back about cigarettes. Why should everyone else worry about me smoking cigarettes? Hell, I'm the one that's getting the cancer. I'm not doing it around other people. Hell, restaurants used to have designated smoking areas just for people like me to give myself cancer. This sounds pretty goddamn good to me, but no. These freaking bastards say, Well, we don't want you smoking inside our buildings because the smoke will drift over us and give us secondhand smoke. Like, whoa, so you get secondhand cancer because I'm smoking on one little stick and it's probably the only smoke you're going to encounter within the next ten months, maybe, unless you work in a diner. Now, I can understand some bitch working in a diner. All she does is bust tables all damn day long. And what do you expect from her? Yeah, she's got a little problem with that. But a guy sitting in a Chinese restaurant, completely on the other side of the restaurant, and I'm sitting in this little tiny booth, just me and a few of my buddies, and I'm smoking a tiny little Camel Unfiltered, and they're over there screaming their head off because they're tired of all the smoke drifting over there. They get a little bit of smoke in their eyes, and what do they worry about? What is it that pisses them off? I might get cancer. Bullshit. Like hell, you would get anything to do with cancer. Because that's the only smoke you're probably going to encounter for the next month, two months, maybe even three months. You have a better chance of catching lung cancer off of a coal fire that you stand over for five minutes. Seriously, instead of standing in front of my cigarette for five minutes. Hell, one thing that pisses me off more than absolutely everything about the entire cigarette fiasco are these goddamn commercials about, well, you know, cigarettes killed over five, over five million people last year. Was it five million, five hundred million, five billion? I don't give a shit. The world's overcrowded to begin with. The more people I say we get rid of, the better. That's the reason we get wars every couple of years. I've been saying it for a long time. Hell, we're overdue for a pretty goddamn good war. We had World War One. We had World War Two. We had the Korean conflict. We had Vietnam. We had the Gulf War. It's about time we had another. World's getting a little overpopulated, if you do ask me. And so, cigarettes killing people. Here and there, cigarettes, 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 cigarettes causing cancer and making so many different kinds of problems for everybody. Why don't you just let me smoke my cigarette in peace? How do you think I want to die? Do I want to die of cancer? No, but I don't want to die at a hundred years old having a three-way either. That just doesn't seem like it, you know, is very good for me. And one of the biggest things about this entire cigarette fiasco, as I said before, are these commercials. But the commercials aren't just, you know, well, cigarettes will kill you. It's probably a good idea if you stop smoking cigarettes. Yeah, it's a good idea if I stop smoking cigarettes, but you're shoving it down my throat. Basically, you know, why do you get a, a million body bags and dump them all out in front of a major tobacco corporation's place just so that major cor tobacco corporation can look down and say, Hmm, there's a lot of body bags on the street. Maybe we should stop selling cigarettes. No, it's not going to work that way, and it's never going to work that way. And Dennis Leary made an absolutely beautiful point. I'm going to smoke the cigarette. I'm going to get the cancer. I'm the one that's going to die. It's not going to be you, and you're not going to be exposed to cigarettes your entire life like I am because I'm the smoker. I enjoy smoking cigarettes. It makes me happy. I enjoy the feeling the nicotine gives me, the rush of adrenaline, the calm, soothing vibe that comes over my body. Do I want to break into a store and kill people for a cigarette? No. God knows I don't. What will I do if I'm out of cigarettes? Well, I'll dig in my ashtray and I'll smoke the last end of a butt that's in that ashtray until I can go get myself some more cigarettes.
Fuck hell! Even if I don't have cigarettes. Well, what's the worst that's gonna happen if I don't have cigarettes? Hey, I'm gonna eat all the food in my fridge to compensate. That's a brilliant thing. You don't have withdrawal symptoms as bad as anything else. Hell, if you drink too much and you try and stop drinking, you get the TVs. If you do... If you do drugs or cocaine or anything like that, you start getting withdrawal symptoms. Cigarettes, what do you want to do if you don't have a cigarette? You want to eat. And one thing more than absolutely anything that pisses me off are these damn commercials I keep seeing about these people who are just shoving cigarette is bad, cigarette is bad, cigarette is bad, right down your freaking throat. You know, on one of these days, I'm going to go to the making of one of these commercials and absolutely smoke a cigarette in every single face I can I can purposely find. And when they say, I don't why don't you want this cigarette smoke in my face? It's going to give me cancer. Yell as, top of I, yell as loud as I can at the top of my lungs. No the fuck it's not. Because there is no way in hell a little bit of cigarette smoke is going to give you cancer. Going to give me cancer? Hell yeah. I'm a pack a day smoker. I smoke 20 cigarettes a day. Is it going to give me cancer in the next year? No. Next two years? No. Next three years? Probably not. Next five years? Probably not. Ten years? Probably not. Hell, my grandfather lived to be 87 years old, smoked like a brush fire and drank like a horse, and what did he die of? Yes, yes, you guessed it. He died of cancer. He smoked since he was 15 and didn't die of cancer until he was, fifth, until he was 87. 87 years old, and that's when he finally died of cancer. I don't even think it was from the cigarettes. I just think it was general cancer. Might have been prostate cancer. I don't know. My family hasn't told me. All they said it was cancer. You want to check the morgues? You want to check the record books? It's Ralph Llewellyn. 87 years old, Ralph Llewellyn. Ralph Llewellyn used to smoke like a brush fire and drink like a horse. <clears throat> now, on the topic of drinking now, I don't see absolutely anything wrong with drinking. Now, you haven't heard so much about drinking in the press as you have heard about marijuana or about STDs or about smoking, but you do see all of these commercials, all of these drinking commercials that say, please drink responsibly. <coughs> what do you think we're doing when we're drinking? Oh, I'm going to get drunk, I'm going to go buy myself a... 18-wheeler, and I'm going to run it into a preschool. Yee-haw! What the hell? We're going to drink responsibly. We know what happens when you drink and drive. It is a very well-documented subject. So, you tell us to drink responsibly. I respect that. You show us police commercials of the police saying, you drink, you drive, you lose. We understand that. But you don't have to shove these things down our throat. You treat the American public like we're absolute idiots. Granted, most of us are absolute idiots, but you happen to be the absolute idiots. 